At this point, you've already seen a number of applications of low frequency oscillators, or LFOs. Absinthe gives you three more LFOs here in the LFO window. You can use these to quickly produce a vibrato, tremolo, or other effects. To highlight the effect of the LFO, let's choose File New Sound to get a new simple sine wave. First, you can choose a wave type for the LFO. Let's stick with sine for simplicity's sake. Next, let's have this LFO modifier pitch. As you can see here, the pitch of oscillators A, B, and C will be affected. I can easily click these buttons to choose which oscillators to affect though. Then, while holding a note, I'll gradually increase the amount that this LFO will affect the pitch. This button here reverses the effect of the LFO, forcing positive LFO values to become negative, and in the case of the pitch setting, produce low notes rather than high ones. Using the rate slider here, you can set the rate of oscillation to be faster or slower. A very fast but subtle pitch oscillation will produce a vibrato effect. Have a listen. And a subtle increase of the LFO's effect on the channel volume here will produce a tremolo effect. In fact, these three drop down menus give you access to a huge number of values for your oscillators, filters, modulators, and more. And you can pick and choose which oscillators will be affected, as well as the master channel here. As with the LFO in the envelope window, you can switch over to sample hold mode to create a sort of erratic, quantized sound. It has its own value slider here to determine the sample length in seconds. You've also got LFO control over master parameters, such as the effects module that you have loaded, or panning. Next, you have three slots per LFO to set up a MIDI continuous controller to control either the master depth, LFO rate, or the sample hold rate. First, I'll set the pitch value back up here to some value, in order to engage the LFO to affect the sound. Then I'll set the master depth to be controlled by CC1 and increase its value slider to have it control the LFO to the maximum degree. Now I'll play some notes, and I'll use my mod wheel to have the LFO work with its pitch. Now let's hear how it sounds when I control the LFO rate using the MIDI mod wheel. When using the LFO rate control, the rate value you choose up here will be the maximum LFO rate that the mod wheel can reach, so be sure to set this as well. And lastly, there's the re-trigger button. Put simply, it's used to reset the phase of one or more LFOs and can be used to keep them in sync. It does this as soon as the MIDI controller dial, wheel, or foot pedal receives a MIDI value that is not zero. As I said, you can use this across multiple LFOs to keep their oscillations in sync by resetting them, but without stopping the sound. Be sure to visit the LFO window soon. 
It's great for adding both subtle and drastic effects. And also be sure to experiment with different wave types and combinations of filter and volume modulations.